Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much depending on your location, please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Resist the attempt of the Fulani to use Islam to cause mayhem in order to displace and dislocate our people in their indigenous homeland, like they did in northern Nigeria. Ibo State Muslim Council once it was yes talking about the chairman of Imo State Muslim Council Prince Bashir Mohammed Sonny Owakwe yes Sonny Owakwe advising the Ibos say look don't allow the Fulanese to take over your land under any guise yes don't allow them to take over your land say the the faith they are practicing that's Islam it's not exclusive reserve of the Fulanese. Yes, now as the Muslims, as the Muslims celebrate across the globe, this year's Idefetre, the state chairman makes the remark. Talking about Bashir Mohammed Sonny Owakwe, yes, where he debunked widespread insinuations making the rounds that Muslims are spoiling for a jihad in the southeast. Now Owakwe gave the clarification in a way Wednesday in his Ide message to the people of the states doing prayers to the end of Ramadan in a way. Yes. Now the Imo Muslim Council boss advised Ndibo not to misconstrue the increasing number of Muslims in the South East geopolitical zone as a threat to peace, security and safety of the indigenous and citizens of the South East zone. He condemned any attempt by a group of individuals to hide under the cover of Islam to perpetrate heinous crimes such as kidnapping, terrorism, murder, banditry, rape, armed robbery, land grabbing, and other acts of criminality. According to Prince Bashir, Prince Bashir Sonia Wakwe, he said, Islam abhors crime in all its ramifications and anyone, individual or group, Committing crime in the name of Islam has ulterior motives and doing so at his own peril, not for Islam or Allah. Let me quote part of his statement, quote, I urge Igbo leaders of thought in all spheres of human endeavor to rise to the occasion and resist those ethnic bigots using the name of Islam to attempt to cause mayhem in order to displace and dislocate our people in their indigenous homeland like they did in northern Nigeria. Resist them and refuse to be intimidated and displaced from your ancestral lands. They, they land grabbers who want to use terrorism to harass you out of the way. They are not working or fighting for Islam, but for their tribe. Muslims are not planning any jihad in the southeast. We are enjoying a harmonious mutual relationship with our Christian brothers here. I also want to use this opportunity to enlighten our people that the Mo Muslim community is a mixture of all tribes in Nigeria, and it is therefore erroneous to think or believe that Islam is exclusive a religion of northerners. I am an Igbo man, and like many others, we are proud Muslims. As we celebrate this time, I preach peace, understanding, tolerance, love, and effective collaboration to ensure continued maintenance and sustenance of peace and other in the states. End of quote. Now, this is a statement. Yes, talking about the chairman of the Imo State Muslim Council. Yes, he said, look, Ndibo, resist any attempt by anybody to use Islam to cause you harm, dislocate you, chase you away from your land or grab your land. Say, don't allow. He said he's a Muslim. He's not into violence. He's not killing anybody. But there are people who are practicing the same faith with him, according to him. They are into that. Yes, they are going around and grabbing, causing mayhem, destroying lives and property to chase people out from the ancestral home, to harass people with terrorism. That's his language. Say. They are harassing people with terrorism to chase them out from the ancestral homes and take over their land. Say, nowhere. Say, yes, he's a Muslim, but say, Ndibo, don't allow this so. Don't allow it. He said he's passing his own Muslim in a peaceful way. And therefore, Ndebo. Don't see Muslims as violent people. So there are people, a particular tribe, doing it. 
in Islam. And that is it. And that the tribe that is doing it in Nigeria today, in Islam, of course, you know what they are doing, the middle bed. Yes, the terrorism they are causing there, a particular tribe, they are doing this thing. They are doing this uh, Muslim something. And they are causing problem. They are wrecking havoc everywhere. Yes. So, the Owakwe is saying, please, Ndibo, don't allow. Don't allow them. Don't allow them. Yes, resist. Resist them. So, and uh, the governors, it was directing to the governors and all Ibos, said, don't allow them under any guise, whether Ruga, whether ranching, to come and take your land. Don't allow them to intimidate you by way of terrorism, by way of terrorism, jihadist. Jihad. He said, Jihad is not, you know, what they are planning in the Southeast. Rather, there are a group of persons, or ethnic group, a particular ethnic group, moving around across the, 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 the country, grabbing land by force, brute force, chasing people away, using terrorism to sack people from their ancestral homes. And that is it. And they occupy. But that is what we are saying. When you see such people, Practicing such a thing, one ethnic group, they influenced and dominated many people. Okay, you see that this is very bad. People will term the 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 the, 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 the religion as violent. Even beyond Nigeria, they are also doing it. Beyond Nigeria, these people practicing this faith, they are into terrorism. It's very bad. Yes, in many countries where they are practicing this this faith. We have seen people who are doing this violence. And people will come and say, oh, our faith is not uh, violent. People in those climes also will come and say, oh, our faith is not uh, you know, violent. We don't know why people are causing violence. Yes. Oftentimes we see people coming up to say, oh, this faith, this religion is not a violent religion. Yet, across the world, people who practice this, this religion are doing violence. Okay? Kind of violent activities. Yes. This terrorism we are seeing everywhere happening. So, and they will say, oh, it's peaceful. It, our religion is a peaceful one. We have a wonderful religion. It's very peaceful. We're not uh, in any way causing jihad. We're not in any way killing people. Yet, this terrorism is being associated with some people. What is happening? What are we not talking about? Owakwe, Bashir Owakwe, Sonia Owakwe, the chairman of the State Muslim Council. What are we not talking about? Listen to what we're saying about these things. Your faith you are practicing, oh, it's peaceful yet. Across the world, not just in, in the contraption here in Nigeria, but all the, across, the, across the world, they are known for this terrorism. Okay? It's too bad. So that's too how you can encourage people from the Biafra land or Ndebo to join this kind of uh, you know, thing that people have been killed in the name of one religion or the other. They will not accept it, no matter how you preach. Because across the world it is happening. It is happening. They say they are doing it for 